Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome to this brand new Python tutorial on regular expressions. So let's get started. Now first thing first, I know what you might be thinking, what are regular expressions? Well, that's a great question. Every single time you're on a browser, every single time when you're on a Google Doc, and you hit Command F or Control F on your keyboard to search for something, regular expressions are what we use to do that. Regular expressions allow us to find a specific pattern in a bunch of text. Maybe it's a set of numbers, maybe it's a specific word. Whatever the case may be, regular expressions allow us to do that. Now the field of regular expressions is actually quite big. There's a bunch of complicated stuff. I'm gonna try and break that down for you in these series of videos and we'll hopefully understand all the main concepts of regular expressions. Let's get started. Now first thing first, we need to go ahead and import RE. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in my console and say import RE. You might notice that I'm using this Python console instead of the test.py file. Just for simplicity, it's easier to work with the Python console for rejects modules. Now in case import read did not work for you, what you're gonna go ahead and do is go to your terminal. Again, you're gonna say pip install re. In case you are have two versions of Python, you might wanna specify pip3. In case that doesn't work, try saying sudo pip3. One of these should work. And if you're using PyCharm guys, just go to PyCharm, preferences, and then in project interpreter, you can go ahead and add your rejects module RE. So RE should come pre-installed and if it does not, don't worry about it. You should have RE installed, fantastic, import RE should work. Once we have RE installed, it's time to understand how we actually use regular expressions. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a task. Let's say that in any text, let's go ahead and create a sentence, sentence. I'm gonna go ahead and find my 10 digit phone number. So let's say my text, my phone number is and then we're gonna make the phone number phone number format consistent. 425, um, 341, and then 2590, okay? Some random number, my phone number is 425, 341, 2590. Fantastic. Our goal is to find this number, parse it out of this sentence. Using rejects objects, we can easily do this. The way this works, the way regular expressions works is after we've imported RE, we need to create a new rejects object. The way we can do this is by specifying phone number rejects is equal to read.compile. The compile method creates the rejects object that tells us what format we're looking for. So we're looking for a format which has exactly three, three, four, ten 10 digits. And between every sets of three digits, we have a dash. So to specify a digit character in rejects, we use the slash D. Now again, remember guys, slash is an escape character, slash D by itself denotes a digit. So slash D, slash D, slash D. Again, following the format of our phone number, dash, slash D, slash D, slash D, dash, slash D, and then go ahead and repeat that. You should have three, three, and then four. Fantastic. So that is our rejects. It's a rejects object for our phone number, okay? So we're gonna be searching for this format. And make sure you guys have this R in front. The R signifies that it is a rejects um, expression. So phone number rejects, fantastic. And now that we've created this rejects, we need to specify what exactly are we using this rejects for? What is it gonna be searching inside? So we're gonna go ahead and say over here, MO, and MO is going to be our output. In this scenario, it is going to be match object. Match object is going to be equal to phone number rejects, okay? Dot, and then there are multiple functions. We'll go over a couple of them. But the first one that we're going to be learning is the search function. So you take your rejects object that has the compiler method of the 10 digit number, and then you're going to say phone number rejects dot search. And then inside of this, you're going to pass in your sentence. So search sentence. Fantastic, hit enter. So now what we've done is we've applied this rejects object onto our sentence um, text, okay? Now again, you could put anything, you could put in quotation marks, whatever you wanted. We just went ahead and created our sentence beforehand, all right? So MO is now our match object. If there was a match, MO would have it. The way we can access what MO found is by saying MO.group. MO.group returns us the actual object. All right, hit enter 425-341-2590. Awesome. So that was a very, very basic reject script. We created a rejects object. 
we applied it to our text, we called mo.group, and that returned us a string of the actual match text. All right, awesome job. The next thing we're gonna learn is grouping with parentheses. We can apply parentheses around specific groups and then we can go ahead and access those groups later on. For example, let's say in our phone number, we wanna distinguish between the area code, the first three digits of a phone number, 425, and then the rest of the phone number, 341-2590. The way we can do this is by creating a new phone number regex object and specifying the two groups that exist using parentheses. So go ahead and let's go ahead and click over here, go up a bit, phone number rejects, fantastic. And then inside of this, we're gonna go ahead and specify that there are gonna be brackets over here, all right, specifying our first group, and then specifying our second group over here will be our, this um, sort of like last seven digits of our phone number. So our first three digits are our, um, I guess you could say area code, the last seven digits are the actual phone number. Fantastic. We've now created a new rejects object, which will distinguish between the two various matchings. So now if we do the exact same code as above, mo is equal to phone number rejects.search sentence, we'll have some new understanding. Again, mo.group will always return you the complete, um, sort of the complete match. You'll always get 425-341-2590 with mo.group. However, what you can do is now access the two other groups that were created. If you call mo.group1, this will get us the first group, 425, because that was the first group created. And mo.group2 will get us the second group or the second match of the last seven digits of our phone number, 341-2590. Also, now you might be wondering why isn't it mo.group0 and 1? That's because mo.group0 is the exact same thing as mo.group. It returns us the entire phone number. Anyways, awesome job. So we've covered two concepts so far. We've been able to create our own regex object. We've understood the sort of functionality of parentheses. The last thing that we'll be learning in this video is going to be the pipe function. How we can use a pipe function to find multiple different objects in the exact same text. For example, let's go ahead and create a new sort of sentence. And I'm gonna go ahead and say my sentence is equal to, um, I love fruits, I love all sorts of berries. Um, and I'm a big fan of strawberries and blueberries. Okay, fantastic. So in this scenario, what's gonna happen is we're gonna go ahead and apply a new rejects which search for multiple different objects. So instead of just saying phone number rejects is equal to read compile our normal stuff, we're gonna specify different words to look for. So we're gonna go ahead and say fruit rejects is equal to read.compile all right, and then inside of this, we're gonna go ahead and say R, and then we're gonna specify the various fruits that we're looking for. So one is strawberries, one is blueberries, and one, let's go ahead and just say, is berries in general. Actually, you know what, it's fine. Strawberries or blueberries, okay? So we're gonna say fruit rejects is equal to read.compile R, and then notice how I separated strawberries and blueberries with this sort of straight line. Again, your straight line can be found by saying shift, and then sort of the backslash over here. Um, it should be above your enter key, but the straight line is called a pipe character. And what it tells our rejects object is that look for strawberries, look for blueberries, whichever one you find first, return that, okay? So hit enter. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply our fruit rejects to our sentence. Go ahead and say match object is equal to fruit rejects dot, and then we're gonna say search, and then inside of our search, pass in our sentence. Awesome. So now our match object has worked. If we now say mo.group, we're gonna get strawberries. And the reason for that is because strawberries came first. All right, if we go ahead and make our sentence something else or run it again on a new sentence, let's go ahead and say mo is equal to fruit rejects.search. I'm just gonna copy strawberries and blueberries. Uh, whoops, let me go ahead and copy this over here. And then in this scenario, I'm gonna move my blueberries before my strawberries. So blueberries and strawberries like that. So if I apply something like that and make blueberries in front, then I can go ahead and see over here, mo.group gets me blueberries. All right, fantastic job guys. That is it for today's lecture on rejects. We'll cover a lot more in future videos. We covered three main things today, guys. We understood how to create a rejects, how to apply a rejects. We understood parentheses and we understood the pipe character to distinguish between 
two different things you're searching for. Fantastic job. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.